Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And I thought for today, for Thursday morning, we'd go ahead and take a look at the lesson that's assigned for morning prayer from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning at the 40th verse. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and saith unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away. And saith unto him, See thou say nothing unto any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But he went out and began to publish it much, and to blaze abroad the matter insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into that city, but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter. Okay, so the healing of, of the man who's leprous, obviously, is a great miracle. Leprosy was a, a general category at the time of Jesus, of anybody with, a, with what was thought to be an incurable and, more importantly, a communicable uh, skin disease. And so uh, it was part of the priest's job is to declare people who could be in community and those who are excluded for community for the sake of health, right? If you had leprosy, you could spread leprosy throughout the entire village uh, or community. Uh, and so you had, to, the priest was the one who told you you needed to be excluded. And then if in fact it wasn't real leprosy, but it was some other skin ailment and it healed up, then you would went to the priest and there was an offering that was to be made as we heard uh, Jesus tells this man to do. And the priest could readmit you to society. So leprosy was not only the, 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 the illness, the physical illness, but it was the exclusion from community uh, and, and being an outcast because of the disease for which you had no control over, uh, you know, and so you get excluded for that for the sake of the health of the community. Interesting, Jesus says, don't tell anybody about it, just go to the priest and make the offering. Now, how in the world does a man who's had leprosy not tell anybody that he's been healed of this disease, right? Uh, first of all, the community's going to know, right? Hey, what's going on with George there? He was supposed to be hanging out with the lepers, and, and yet he seems not only to be overjoyed and happy, but he seems to be healed. What happened, George? I can't tell you, right? Of course he's not gonna do that. He's gonna go and he's gonna tell people, I met this man, Jesus, and I said to him, if, you know, if it's your will, I can be healed. He had enough faith for that to be true. And he said, and the man at his word says, I do will it, and he healed me. Just by his word, the leprosy was gone, and I was healed, and I'm on my way now to go make an offering to the priest so I can be readmitted to society. I don't have to be an outcast anymore. Uh, in some ways, uh, it almost seems unrealistic that Jesus would expect this to be true. But we see a sense of why Jesus asked this with what we hear at the end of the lesson, which is as soon as the word got out that this guy had, had healing powers, that God was doing something miraculous through him, of course, they don't understand yet that in fact he is God. He's the second person of the Holy Trinity. Once that word got out, of course, people have needs and people are going to go to him and they're going to bring their sick. They're going to bring themselves uh, because they want to be healed, right? That's, that's understandable. People who have physical needs, who have physical pain, who, have, who are excluded from society and from community, looking for the opportunity to be readmitted through the ministry of healing. So, of course, it says Jesus couldn't even go into cities anymore. He had to kind of go out on the periphery because he, he would just be mobbed with people coming with their needs. So, and we're, folks, we're still in chapter one of Mark's gospel, and we've had all these healing stories already. Like I said, Mark is just giving us the facts, right to it. Um, we'll leave it to the other gospel writers to fill in some of the theological details. So today's Thursday, right? So 1030, we have Holy Communion, uh, followed by the service of benediction uh, right after, and at four o'clock evening prayer. Uh, and I do pray that you will have a Thursday that is full of blessings.